Hey, how's it going? So this week we're not going to have a walkthrough, although I may do one later in the week just as a kind of a, a side thing. And I just noticed I said kind of again. I will not do that this week. That's it now. Uh, so, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is talk about stock images. And this is because someone left a comment on one of the walkthroughs on YouTube. So I said I would do a little video on stock images. So recently I've been just playing around trying new things uh, like this image here. Again, all these images, as I've said in the walkthroughs, were stock images. So this image here, I got this stock for, of this guy who is Vince Voltage, shot by Vince Voltage uh, on DeviantArt. The background was from Pixabay, I believe, and then I got these little bits from DeviantArt too. So what I'm going to do is there's different kinds of stock and different stock sites. So I'm just going to go a few of the various options and then uh, hopefully you can find that in this information useful and you can go out and kind of find oh I said it again <laughs> you can go out and uh, find your own so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the free stock sites so what the, the main ones I use are Pixabay, Unsplash, Pexels and DeviantArt so let's just uh, click on DeviantArt so back to Pixabay so Pixabay is one of the main ones I always search first Pixabay is good for attribution free stock images so attribution free God, that's mouthful. Attribution free means that you can use images and you don't have to credit anyone. You can use them in your personal work, you can use them in your commercial work, and you don't even have to say who took the photo or who it's by or anything. And basically, it's there's lots of quite good images on here. Uh, you have to search for, so there's a search bar here, just type what you want in. So let's type in, I don't know, white door. Press search. Page that found. Okay. So don't ever look for white doors on Pixabay. So let's type in something easier, flower. So as you can see, there's lots of decent images of uh, flowers there, which you can use in your manipulations or you can use them in your commercial work. Attribution free. So the next is Unsplash. So what Unsplash is great for is amazing landscapes. Uh, there's, there's other things as well as, as landscapes on the main page but it's mostly known for its like beautiful landscape images so let's go up and have a look at nature oh, it's also got a search bar it didn't used to have a search bar I don't believe so I've uh, gone to nature as you can see look at the quality of these images absolutely beautiful uh, so if you're doing photo manipulations where the background needs some kind of epic imagery, nature, imagery, landscape, something like that, Unsplash will be my first one to uh, search. And then you've got Pexels, which is kind of a poor man's Pixabay. It's alright, it's not as good, but it's still got some good stuff on there. And the next one is DeviantArt. Now DeviantArt has stock images, but there's they are uploaded by the users of DeviantArt. So they have various attribution rules so when you download stock from DeviantArt you need to read the attribution rules first some of them will say that you can use them in your personal work but you can't use them in your commercial some will say you're free to use them how you want and then some of them you might have to pay for so basically again you just search in here as you can see robot stock let's search that <clears throat> and then it will come up with various images. Now, not all of them will be stock images you can use. Some of them will just be pictures of robots. But if you come down here, stuff like this here, and um, this thing here is stock. That's a stock PNG. So basic DeviantArt is really good for photo manipulators because it has lots of PNGs where everything's cut out. It's got loads of random textures and like blood packages. It's got loads of good brushes you can download. So uh, DeviantArt is really good for those kind of things, it's more kind of photo manipulation, little uh, overlays and things like that. So what I want to move on to next is the premium paid sites like Shutterstock and Adobe Stock. So everyone's hopefully kind of, oh no I'm out of downloads, oh no. Uh, so everyone's used, or probably used these kind of stores, so basically what you do is it's a bit like Pixabay. Type in what you want. <laughs> Man dragging their body, as you can tell. Uh, I have some weird image uh, needs, so let's type in room with barrels. <laughs> and let's search that. 
So as you can see, it just brings up all these kind of images with barrels in them. Then you click on them. Oops, not put on. Let's say preview. And then you can just purchase them. So they have, usually on these premium ones, you have a standard license, and then you have a extended license. Let's do that again. So you've got the standard license, which is you can usually buy credits, and then if you're on an extended license, you usually have to pay quite a little bit more. So for that, you probably get like you're allowed to use it on a lot more advertisements, or you can publish it or print it out 500,000 times more, or you know, something along those lines. So, depending on your needs, uh. Premium stock is good and it's got a lot better quality images than the free ones, but it's going to cost you a lot more. And it just you've got to be very careful as well. Still, I believe in certain licenses and how we use it and where it gets used, because the big sites will come after you if you misuse their stock. So that's the premium stock, so short stock. You've also got Getty stock and things like that. So now I'm going to move on to kind of to the, oh, I said kind of again. So now I'm going to move on to the cinematic stock photography. So you've got like uh, cinematic. So move on to the bespoke stock photography sites like Neo Stock. So what Neo Stock does is model stock, and that's oh, and it has also I was going to say it only does models, but actually now it has uh, CG backgrounds which look really cool and uh, super high res. If anyone wants to get them, so what Neo Stock does is it caters mainly for the book cover audience but photo manipulators and other people as such will get good use out of this stock it's all premium stock it's all nicely shot in a studio it's the outfits and uh, props have been thought about and a lot of money put into them so let's just like click on this one if you click on this couples and groups and go into this post post apocalyptic group you can just tell by the clothes and the weapons they are using this is all premium stuff so you can buy five image packs or you can buy 10 image, image packs but what you're buying when you buy these images is the also the license as well for web and print so there's no hidden charges and all the all these stock sites on stocks sorry on here is premium uh, high res a blank background just to make things easy to cut out so they are uh, thinking of photo manipulators photo manipulators straight off the box so they've even got some discount packs and samples and things here for you to check out so the next place after that is shift art and this shift art has just opened a stock shop where you can buy again model stock and there's also landscape stock as well environment stock so again a little bit like Neo Stock, you can buy 50 images in a pack of this, so you'll get 50 images of this woman in various poses, and 50 images of this woman, and so on and so on. Uh, so again, it's just high res model stock, easy to cut out from the backgrounds, and it's catering for the photo manipulators straight off the bat, instead of things like uh, Pixar Bay and Shutterstock, which are just kind of all any kind of genre you want. Uh, so landscape, nature, flowers, all that stuff. So just have a little think before you go on, on to any stock site and just like think about what you need it for, who's going to see it and how it's going to look. So I hope that clears things up for you a little bit. If you've got any questions, please leave comments uh, under the video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers guys. Peace.